Hi guys, my name is Sydney Bristol and this is My Life in Developmental Edits, my vlog chronicling the beginning of my career as a full-time author. Today is March 21st, it is 4.04 p.m. For those of you who are keeping track of the dates, it has been a little while since I last vlogged. Um, I don't remember exactly the date, um, I know it's been a little while. <laughs> and um, I don't really know that I can pin down a specific reason why I have not been vlogging. Um, Probably part of it's because I did not put it on my to-do list, and if it doesn't get put on my to-do list, it doesn't get done. But the other part is I kind of got to a point where I just, I just didn't want, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to get pretty. I didn't want to brush my hair. I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to talk. I didn't want to see people. Excuse me. And I think that, um... I can track part of my, I, I'm, I'm for sure I have entered the funk. I am now not in that super high, high energy peppy mode that I've been in for almost two months. I mean, I've been pretty high energy and super excited about things for a while. And I mean, that energy finally, um, not that it's gone because I'm still super, I'm super excited about things. Um, I'm definitely into like killer deadline mode. Um, but definitely, I should probably stop saying the word definitely because I keep saying it over and over and over again. Um, but I've, I've for sure had, uh, I don't even want to say it, it's a reality boot, a hit. I think that uh, when the incident happened back, uh, what is it? It's been a little, it's been over a week now. So a week ago, I was assaulted by a young man at the grocery store. He very clearly needs more help than what he is getting at home. And things are working out for him. Um, me, I mean, physically, I'm fine. I'm totally like, you guys can see me. I'm fine. Uh, but I think emotionally, that took a little bit more of a hit on me, given my history. Uh, for those who who have not read some of my blogs about it, I am. I've had um, instances of domestic violence that were not with people I was in a relationship with. They were just people in my life. Um, and so that has definitely left its mark on me. It was not a fun or even a fast, I guess, recovery from that. I think mentally and emotionally, I'm still coming back from um, from that incident. And that's okay. I think that, um, especially as entrepreneurs and writers and creative people, we are pushed to do and do and do and do and do. And we don't often, um, we aren't often allowed to just step back and be ourselves and and have our freak outs, our grieving, our stress. You know, we as women and as creative people, we are pushed to produce and to be different things and to work on a work sometimes on other people's schedules and other people's expectations, and that's not always good or healthy or safe for us. So um, I think the last couple of weeks I've definitely set some boundaries for myself. I've, uh, I've, I've stepped back from the vlogging. I've stepped back from social media for a few days. I know that some people probably saw my, you know, checking out for a while uh, pin post that I had up. Uh, just because I didn't, I think, I think it's definitely okay. There's definitely a gun. Um, I think it's for sure that it was, it's okay to do that. I think it's okay to do that it's just as a, as an everyday person, I think it's okay to do that as an author and as a person who puts themselves out there for um, for other people to consume our art or our product. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not usually a touchy feely woo woo kind of creative person. For me, um, a project start out as as, a, as an outline. I start out doing something. I guess it's a very mechanical kind of way to write. Uh, it's not a lot of it's not a lot of well, my characters speak to me because mine don't. Mine are people that I cast in a, in a situation and I tell them what to do. Um, and if they don't do what I want them to do, they're doing the wrong thing. And that's how I write. So it's not a super emotional kind of a kind of way where like I have to be feeling a certain way. Um, so for me, this has been a definitely a very strange kind of a thing to figure out. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping that, that I'm over that and that you know now I can keep writing. So the, the status of my projects, um, Dangerous in Training is at the copy editor, and she is uh, she's gonna she's getting to work on that. I'm really, really excited about the pro possibility that it could be out like maybe next week if I get it back and get it formatted. But we are we are into the it's gonna release in two weeks at some point. Excuse me. So 
Dangerous in Training, Dangerous Games. I re-outlined the ending of the book this morning. Um, so that lines up with what I discussed with my editor. And so that is ready to head in the final stage. Um, it is like, it's like 43,000 words. So it's still got a lot to go. Um, there's a whole huge ending bit to write. But at this point, it's, um, it's a clear, clear shot to the climax. <laughs> there you go. That's the romance author's fun word. Um, so those two are the Aegeus group series. Then I have Shift, which I am currently doing the page proofs for. For those people who remember the huge stack of page, page proofs that I had to do, this is what's left. It's now a very, very thin stack of paper. So um, that's, I'm super excited about being done with that probably about three or four days. Um, I'm also doing content edits for Chase, which is the third and it's not the final book. It is the only, it is the final one that is contracted. So that's some of the kind of otherness of working with traditional publishers is that I don't exactly get to say when a series is done. Uh, but it's no, we'll see. It's three books so far. If you guys buy lots of them, then there will be a fourth and maybe a fifth, and we'll see from there. Um, so there, there's those four projects. Then I have two other things that I'm not talking about. They're just there, but neither of those two things um, I'm working on right now. So yeah, that's currently what I'm doing. Um, yeah, and so I guess now it is, you know, nice late in the afternoon. I'm gonna go and uh, do something, <laughs> do probably do some promo work. That's always the thing that gets pushed off to the very, very end of the day. So I need to go do that. Thank you guys for joining and for listening to me today. I know this wasn't a very, probably it wasn't a very fun vlog. I probably should put a content warning on this one. Um, but thank you guys for listening to me. Thank you for being just so supportive and encouraging. It's uh, meant a lot to have all of you people reach out to me and to wish me well. Um, so yeah, thanks you guys for, for being there for me. And I promise to vlog tomorrow because I've, I've committed to a topic that I did not get to today, clearly. So yeah, bye.